Hello everyone and welcome to Stats220. This video is just going to give you a little orientation to where things are laid out in the course, um, but feel free to email me if I haven't answered something you can't find. Um, you can always do that. All right, now uh, at the top you'll notice several things. I want you to notice the discussions are all here, so at any time if you can't find where to go to do your discussions, they're right there. And notice our introductory discussion, which is the very first thing you need to do um, for your no-show activity so that you're not counted as not attending class. You want to go and do this introductory discussion where you just kind of introduce yourself to everybody. Your grade book is also here, so you can look and see how you do on certain grades. Homework assignments will not be in here immediately. Our homework is done in my open math, and I will update that um, probably about twice a week. So, uh, you know, so at first they won't be in there, but probably by Wednesday or Thursday, you will start to see those homework assignments appear in your grade book. And then if you want to get messages to me, we'll talk about other ways to get messages to me, better ways than this little message box up here, but there is a message box right here in Blackboard. Um, it is better to email me or text me, but this, this is available to you if you forget about those other options. All right, so let's go back to the content here for a minute. There is a quick introduction to Blackboard here, so if you need some help on, on the use of Blackboard, um, there is one there. And there's this thing called BrainFuse, which is free tutoring. Now, you can set up a free online tutoring session, but just be aware that during the summer, statistics tutoring is kind of hard to come by. Statistics is one of those areas or it's hard to find a good tutor. So just be aware that they may or may not have tutors available at the time that you want them. So you can contact me. I will be happy to help you. Just be aware that you can reach out to me and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Now you wanna to go to the start here section. There's a lot of information on, on under the start here. There's stuff about the course. Your syllabus is your Bible. So you're going to want to go in here and download your syllabus. And that's right here. Um, that has all of your information about how I grade the course, about how much things count, very important stuff, all the policies. So you want to read through that document. Right beneath it is the course calendar. And that tells you what is due every single day. Now, you're going to be reminded throughout the course about what's due uh, just by the tabs that are in here and also by my uh, announcements that I send to you. Announcements will just sort of uh, pop up on your screen before you, right as you're entering the course. So just always make sure you read those. They will also go to your email. So make sure you're checking your KCTCS email. All right, now, beneath the syllabus is info about me. It's got all of my contact information. So my email here and my uh, phone number. This is my cell, so I ask that you text and not call. I have a tendency not to um, answer phone calls if I don't recognize the number. I'm sure a lot of you are that way as well. But if you text me, I will answer the text and uh, make sure that you tell me who you are when you text me. Otherwise, I, I may not understand who's contacting me. Um, I do tend to camp a lot during the summer, so if I don't answer immediately, it probably means I'm just not in range of a cell tower, but I, I will answer those um, as fast as I can. Um, and then there's a video about me here, if you care to watch that, and then more about what ways to contact me down below. All right, now um, there are some academic resources that BCTC offers. You can read through that section. And then you really do want to pay attention to this, which is download Microsoft Office for free, because we will be using Microsoft Excel to do statistics calculations in this class. And that is free to you um, just by taking this course. So make sure that you download, download the Microsoft Office um, because you're going to want to access the Microsoft Excel. Um, there are videos throughout the course telling you how to use Microsoft Excel. So um, don't worry that you're going to have to have to try to figure out how to do the statistical calculations. I will show you that. Um, and then there's uh, information about accommodations and tutoring here, netiquette, uh, and about the Blackboard app, uh, which if you want to get that on your mobile device, you can.
Now, you'll notice your very first introductory discussion, which is due the first day of class, is right here. Um, this introductory discussion, uh, make sure that you are not counted as a no-show, so make sure you do it. Um, so go in there, do that introductory discussion, and that will be taken care of. And it's your only assignment for the first day. There's also a, a uh, right now, I don't think I have a whole lot under the tables and formulas. You won't need it until we get a little bit further in, I think probably week two. But I will have all of the tables and all of the formulas there by the time you need them. I'm also going to put underneath this folder any Excel document or Excel videos showing you how to use Excel and a uh, page that sort of lists all the little formulas that we use within Excel. You'll know what I mean by that after you kind of get started with Excel. It will be kind of a nice quick reference document for you. Makes it easier to remember, oh yes, this is what I type in to do the average, or this is what I type in to do the standard deviation. Um, so this is where you will find all of those. And then when we get into the units, of course you're gonna start with unit one. And unit one, tells you a little bit about what the unit is. There's a little module overview, but what you really want to pay attention to is we go to week one assignments and underneath that, notice that there is basically a document for every day that you will be working. So if there's not a document for a day, it means that that particular day didn't have any assignments. So sometimes I think Sunday, for example, doesn't have anything for this week. But if we go to Tuesday's assignments, it tells you a little bit about what we are studying. It gives you the reading and the link to that reading. And then it's the videos over that reading. So you'll want to watch the videos. And then after you've watched the videos, sometimes I include a PowerPoint in here. PowerPoints are good because they'll have some of the information that you might want uh, for tests and so forth that kind of summarizes things. And then the homework itself. Uh, and then you'll want to go to the homework and do it. Now, the first time you enter homework, as you will on this Tuesday, there is all this information that you want to take down because that information will help you to sign up for the proper homework. Um, there is no cost for the online program, My Open Math. So you just go in, you make a, an ID and a password. Um, it's not going to ask you for a credit card or anything. But you have to do that before you can start on the homework. All right, and let me uh, X out of this. And then down near the bottom, of course, we have the other units. You can't see unit four yet, but it will become visible later. Um, I don't think I've stuck your projects up yet. So near the bottom, there will be a tab that says projects. You have one project that you have to do. I have not stuck that up yet. It's toward the end of the course. And then there will also be a tab for homework questions. So if you send me an email, maybe you're having trouble on homework 1.4, number six, I will make videos, stick it in that video tab for homework, and then anybody else who has a question can also go and look at that particular homework question. So please feel free to ask me questions on homework. I will make videos for you and make it a little bit easier to get through homework. Um, and then there will also be a, a extra credit tab that I put up toward the end of the semester. Um, but those will appear um, by week two. They will be up there for you. Okay, I think that includes everything that you will need. Um, if there is anything else that you think of a question of, though, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to ask uh, answer any questions that you have. And welcome to the course.